Welcome, Susie. And you're on, girl. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you can see me all okay. All right. So a huge welcome to everyone uh, to our webinar. I'm very excited about this, actually. The 12 Bar Blues played on the ukulele, which is really, really easy to do. You can all do it. And it just gives you so much um, pleasure, joy, excitement and fun. Well, <laughs> I know I'm preempting, but it certainly does for me. In fact, while I was preparing it, today I was just going through the uh, a whole range of 12-bar uh, blues songs and I was having a ball. Phil was out and I was <laughs> singing and improvising on the ukulele and having a really good time. So I hope that you will as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the webinar goals for tonight. So I hope you've got your ukulele with you. Just give a wave if you've got your ukulele with you. Oh, there's someone waving. There's another person waving. That's great. So hopefully you do. Um, and I'm hoping that you will play along with me tonight, sing along and um, enjoy yourself. So you really only need to know C7 and F. If you know G7, that's uh, fantastic as well. So those three chords. All right. So what we're going to do is have a quick look at what is a, what is a blues, what is a 12-bar blues. 12-bar uh, blues in terms of call and response. So it's really, really easy, even for beginners. And if some of you are teaching, and you can let me know in the chat box, I'd love to know if you are actually teaching the ukulele to kids, hopefully above seven. I know some people teach five and six-year-olds. I know there are even people that teach four-year-olds. But if you are teaching it, just, uh, just give us a heads up in the chat box. Because doing a call and response with a 12-bar blues is a great way to teach beginners. Um, we're going to have a look at a four, one, four, five progression and how to work it out. So I'm going to assume that um, our listeners don't have much music background. I know many of you do, of course. But um, in case there are people there that don't actually have that theory background, I'm going to show you how easy it is to work out what a one, four, five harmonic progression is. And I'll tell you a little bit about that as well. How to play along with a backing track. I've got a very wonderful app that I'm gonna share with you tonight. Uh, we're gonna look at a range of 12 bar blues, how to improvise, and you can all do it, guys. I know people say, no, I cannot improvise, but you actually all can. So we're gonna look at how easy that is to do over it. A blue scale and how just at the very end how we can transpose to other keys all right how's that to whip through in half an hour let's see how we go all right so uh, let's just whiz back up there so what is a blue so basically this began late 1800s early 1900s when um, shiploads of Black Africans were brought over from Africa to America um, and they were slaves uh, and they largely worked in cotton fields, plantations um, and so on. Obviously were plucked from their families, uh, felt very um, bad about this whole situation, very sad, very depressed. And so we get the, the whole um, notion of the blues was born at that time. Um, so blues meaning depressed and unhappy. Okay, so what is a 12 bar blues? It actually was a, a very popular musical form that came out of the blues um, back in that time. And it's used in literally thousands of songs. So once you know a 12 bar blues, you can work out uh, many, many songs. There are very, also lots of variations on a 12 bar blues. We're going to do a simple 12 bar blues tonight. Uh, it's a sequence of 12 bars that follows a particular chord pattern that is repeated several times. So that's a little bit of uh, background about the blues. Okay, so it's really important that you know at least these two chords, C7, and uh, we basically take our first finger, put it on the first fret of the um, A string, the bottom string close to your toes, and that's as simple as C7 is, really simple. F2, 
two fingers and the chord chart is there. G7 is three fingers. I'm not actually going to teach you those chords tonight. Hopefully you, you know at least two of those. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to start with a call and response. Okay, and you can all do this. I want you to grab your ukuleles and we're going to do a little response part and it goes like this. All soaks through wet day two. Okay, let's try that again. And all soaks through wet day two. I'm going to sing it this time. All soaks through wet day two. So that's your part. It's the response part. I'm going to just Put the, the computer down a little bit so you can see my ukulele a lot better. And I'm going to play what's called the chicken strum. So it's here on the screen. It's down, 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 down. There's various different strumming styles you can use. You can use your fingernails, come up with your thumb. You can just use your thumb, come up with a thumbnail. And you can also use your index finger. Okay, so I'm going to sing the call. I'd like you to sing the response. I'm going to be doing the chicken strum and you are very welcome to join me with the chicken strum. This is the Wet Day Blues. It's a, it's a song that Phil and I wrote a few years ago and the reason we're starting with this one is because it's just really inclusive. You can all join in with the response part. Stormy on Sunday, run in the rain. That's your part. Stormy on Sunday, run in the rain. I'm dripping all over, down my head to my toes. with the down, 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 down. The reason it's chicken because it's chick, 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 chick. We've got actually names for all our strumming patterns. Now, I want you to have a look at this uh, chord chart. And so I'm just going to put the computer up. All right, so you can see on our shared screen, we've got 12 bars. And even if you've never read any music, it's just really easy to learn. So it's divided into four beats for each bar. There are 12 bars. These very thick dark green lines are bar lines. And at the very end, there's double dots uh, with two lines, which is a repeat. We've color coded everything just to make it really, really easy. So we follow a chroma note color system which uh, replicates the boom whackers. If you're familiar with those cylindrical tubes, many of you will uh, know about the boom whackers. Also many chime bars and glockenspiels uh, follow the chroma notes color system. So it's really, really easy. It's based on a rainbow system and the first note starts with C. So C is red, uh, red, uh, red, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So we're just following the rainbow system. You've got a light green for F, a dark green for G. These little diagonal lines here on the chord chart represent one beat or one strum. So there's four beats for each bar. Okay, if you have any questions at all, just uh, pop them in the chat box and I'll have a look at those. Okay, so let's continue. Here is our Wet Day Blues song. So we've got a chicken strum for our call and a response strum for the um, responses, <laughs> funnily enough. All right, so the next slide 
you actually have the music there as well. And of course, uh, if your name is in the chat box, we will send you all a copy of the notes with all of these uh, slides on them. Um, so some of you will be familiar with Wet Day Blue. So it's a really good one. And if you're teaching again, it is a really, really good one uh, for beginners. And, and you know, even if they don't know the F chord and the, and the G7 chord, you can play the other chords and then um, they're actually participating in a 12 bar blues, which is very exciting. All right, let's continue. All right, so what is a 1, 4, 5 progression? What does that actually mean? So it's very mathematical. Music is very mathematical. So the musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Etc. So it finishes at G and then it starts again A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we use a lot of numbers in music. So if we start as in this slide with a C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then it starts again C, D, E, F, G, A, B, we call C number one. To work out a four and a five, it's really easy. We just go one, D, two, D, three, E, four is F, five is G. Okay, it's that simple. If you started on D, it would be D, G, A for one, four, five, um, E, A, B, etc. Okay, so one, four, five. We also use Roman numerals uh, when it comes to harmonic progressions. Okay, um, that's how it's always been in music. Uh, so that distinguishes it from um, other numbers. So you know that that's a harmonic progression. One, four, five. Not all one, four, five progressions are 12 bar blues, but a 12 bar blues is a one, four, five progression. So hopefully you, that, that is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so if we were to work out a G, one, four, five, it would be one G, one, two, three, four is C, and then D, four, five, one, four, five. Okay, so there we go. So here we are, we're going to be in C, harmonic progression, one, four, five in C. Now, we've got a seventh, and some of you may be thinking, well, what is a seventh? It's just one little extra note to give it that blues feel, okay? So it's a, what we call a dominant seventh. Um, and so here's the C chord, C7. Just gives it that bluesy feel. So we're going to use the C seventh the F chord and then the G7 again, there's the G chord, G7, just one note, a little blues note, which gives us that uh, bluesy feel. So here is what the whole progression looks like and we've colour coded it so you know that one is C, uh, four is F and the dark green five is G7. Okay, so it's that simple. The one four five progression in C. Okay, just uh, just let us know if that all makes sense. Okay, in the in the chat box, let us know if that all makes sense. All right. So now, how can you play along with the backing track? So you really want to progress. You really want to practice, but you want to have it so it's really really interesting. I would like to introduce to you a fabulous app. It's called iReal Pro. And I've downloaded it on my iPad. This is what it looks like. That's the screenshot of it. It's about $19.99. And it comes with a whole lot of uh, chord progressions or harmonic progressions. And they look like this. Now, it's similar to my chord progression, a little bit similar. Although it's got in the second bar a diagonal line with two dots, which is simply a repeat. So there's various ways that you can you can read chord charts and write chord charts. This also has an F7. I'm not playing F7. We're just going to play F. So I'm going to play this, and hopefully there will be a little bit of a time lag, but hopefully you'll get the idea. I'm going to just hold it up for you here. There's my iPad. That's what it looks like, which is exactly what's on the screen for you. And I'm going to press play. Thank you. 
play some other blues songs with you. The wonderful thing about this app, you can change the tempo. So it's got a metronome marking that was at 150 beats per minute. Um, you can change that. You can uh, tell it how many repetitions to make. You can change the key. Um, and there's different styles of blues as well. This one is called Blues Simple. All right. So let's keep going. I found some really great 12 bar blues songs that I was enjoying this afternoon. And I'm just going to play um, a couple of these for you. Now I'm going to adjust the metronome marking on my blue simple to 90. So I'm just doing that. Okay, so it's very slow this time. And I'm going to play you this beautiful Billy Holiday song called Fine and Mellow. Third fret, 
which is the C. Now guys, if you've never done this before, you need to take your time, okay? Just to get to know those strings and those notes. So played in a little bit, um, a little bit faster. <laughs> going to do is I'm going to put the the backing track on and show you how much fun you can have just practicing the scale I'm going to take the volume the uh, the tempo right down to 90 First of all, to practice the scale, ascending and descending, you can also do little triplets. Now see what my hand's doing? It's, it's um, really supporting my thumb over here, okay? I'm left-handed, you probably figured that out, which is great for you to mirror me. It actually works really well. All right, so. Uh, there's a little bit of information about practicing and then we're going to have a rhyme and this is the rhyme that Phil wrote this morning all right so it's veggie mice peanut butter strawberry jam cook them up in a frying pan now that is the rhythm done in a straight fashion we're going to swing it veggie mice peanut butter strawberry jam Cook them up in a frying pan. Veggie my peanut butter strawberry jam. Cook them up in a frying pan. Veggie my peanut butter strawberry jam. Then spread it on a roast lamb. Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> now, why are we doing this? Because you need a little rhythm pattern to actually improvise, because we're going to do some improvising now. We're going to take a fragment of the blue scale and we're going to add in some of these ingredients from the improvisation pot. And I can spend a whole 40 minutes just talking about these things. So we're going to use some little re repeated rhythms, long and short notes, have some dynamics, different pitches. All of these things make the improvisation really, really musical. All right, so we're going to have a look at the first fragment, which is G, B flat, C. And we're going to do our rhyme, veggie my peanut butter, strawberry jam. Just using those three notes in any order. So I want you to do it with me. A one, two, three, four. Veggie my peanut butter, strawberry jam. Cook them up in a frying pan. Veggie night, etc. You got the idea? I'm going to put the the app on and off we go. Here we go. on this little fragment for a while until it's really, really comfortable. Then you can take the first three notes of the scale, C, B flat, F, and do exactly the same thing. Veg, veggie mite, peanut butter, strawberry jam. Cook them up in a frying pan. 
Mm. Okay, so you do the same thing and then you combine them. Vegemite, pea, oh. Vegemite peanut butter, strawberry jam. Cook them up in a frying pan. Okay, got the idea? I'm going to put the app, the app on and let go. Three, four. The last uh, goal for tonight was how to transpose into different keys. So this shows you uh, if we go into G7, some of you will know G7, C and D7. Exactly the same thing, but now we're in another key. And in some songs, it's much easier to play 